found a huge list of fun questions. I'm going to pass to everyone, to the stewards. There's some really good ones on here. Okay. Man, I'm kind of torn here. Oh, ooh, that's kind of interesting one. Okay. I'm kind of torn today between what's the weirdest food you've ever eaten and your most used emoji. So I'm going to pass to Juan. Do you want to start? Um, well, I think I eat normal food. <laughs> but um, the weirdest thing, um, no, I don't know. I, I don't try to eat that much of like here in Colombia, people eat a lot of like wild animals, but I don't do that. And um, I think that my most used emoji is the one that ha that has the hands up. I love that. Like, I love that emoji. And I will pass to Sept. Thank you, Juan. Yeah, I'm kind of like, like Juan, I don't eat weird food. Maybe it's because I'm used to it, so it's not good for me. But uh, yeah, it was fun because uh, me and Sam are doing keto and we were saying, hey, look, we are doing diet and we were eating a lot of fat. And yeah, I mean, yeah, that. And the most emoji I, I use is the, the one that does like this and the one that does like this. <laughs> yeah, those are my favorites. Uh, I'll pass it to Eduardo. <laughs> Eduardo, are you there? Yeah, sorry, I was muted for some reason, and I, I was not like, yeah, I was talking to myself. Um, the, the strangest uh, food, huh? I once, when I was a child, I ate iguana. Uh, because it's uh, like, like Juan said, it's a common thing in these kind of countries, like mine, where you, I mean, it's almost like a fun thing. Um, they are not endangered. They are not endangered species, so it's fine. Um, we ate that and 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 turtle. That's the other thing. I ate. They both taste like chicken. <laughs> I mean, that's the the easiest reference. Well, the turtle it it seems like chicken with fish. It's a because it's like it has the salty flavors. It's a weird flavor. Um, what was the other question? Strangest food, ah, favorite emoji. Um, I really like uh, the woman for two, the woman that has the, the, the crown. So you always are a queen, first one. And then the second one uh, is the woman with the two hands, like saying, I don't know. I love those two because they represent me so much. <laughs> That's it. I will pass it on to Septimus. You already went? Yeah, I already went. Um, I will pass it on to Santi. Hello, guys. I think that the weirdest food I ever had was crocodile when I was down down South Africa, and I didn't expect it to be as good as it was. I actually was a little reluctant, but it was I don't know if it was the cooker or it was the animal or both, <laughs> but it was good, and. Uh, for emojis, I'm quite traditional. For work, I like the thumbs up. And for family, of course, I like the kiss. And I'll pass it to Libya. Thanks. I've tried crocodile too. It's actually really good. Tastes like a mix of fish and chicken, the one I ate at least. Um, I think the weirdest thing I've ate was chapulines. They eat a lot of this in Mexico, is crickets, but they season it with pepper and lemon and they have it dry everywhere and they eat that with dry sardines on the side. It's weird, but it's actually really good. Um, and my favorite emojis lately has been the, the monkey with the hands and the eyes because I'm feeling so overwhelmed. A mix between this and and the and the nails, like feeling fancy. 
And I'll pass to uh, Marco. Yes. Uh, I just installed Square or whatever. It is. Oh, we're having a little trouble hearing you. But uh, weirdest food you've eaten, and what is your most used emoji? Oh, uh, raised hands. Weirdest food you've ate. Oh, I think he's having internet troubles. Okay, pass to yeah, Jake. So oh, did you get it back? Okay. Yeah, I'm having some you know, internet issues, so I didn't get the second part. You were broken up. Weirdest food. Do you guys eat anything weird in Czech Republic? Oh. <laughs> Weirdest food you ever ate or traveling? Uh, uh, from top of my head, I can't think of it now. Right now, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, I'll let you know when I figure it out. Yeah, uh, I pass it on to, what was that, Jake? Yeah, um, emojis. I don't really care about emojis. I like memes, so I don't. I don't really know. I don't actually use a lot of emojis. Um, now, weirdest food? Oh wow, <laughs> a country boy can't survive. I've ate. Okay, so there's a lot of weird things. Uh, so I've been a lot out in the woods a lot because my dad worked for the Forest Service, and he used to mess with me. Like, so I've eaten grub right out of bark from a dead tree. Uh, I've North Dakota's got a tradition. They call it a tiger meat, and that's raw hamburger in a sandwich. Um, what else have I ate? I've ate, I've ate, I've eaten raw deer meat fresh after a kill. I've eaten rattlesnake. Rattlesnake's actually really good. Um, shark is really good, but that's not really that weird. Uh, what else have I ate? Um, oh, oh, this, this Texan once brought armadillo and he didn't tell us I ate armadillo once. That was really weird. Um, turtles, turtle soup. That was really, I thought somebody told me it was fancy. It, it wasn't very good. I didn't like turtle soup at all. And then I felt bad that I ate a turtle. Um, what else? I've eaten a lot of strange things. Yeah. Uh, I'll pass it to Griff. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm with Jake. I, I I always try to eat all the weird stuff. Um but uh I think for my emoji it's just the simple smiley. Although I really like the semicolon with a nose and then a capital D. I, I like I like that one. Uh it doesn't end up giving an emoji like face, but I don't care. I like it. Uh and then as far as food, I had this I had a pet snake for a while and I had to, uh, I, but my girlfriend, my ex-girlfriend now, she had guinea pigs and it was fine when I had like a snake room and then the guinea pigs were in our room. And, but then we moved into a smaller apartment and it wasn't gonna work out. Like the snake always was trying to get to those guinea pigs. Like you walk, if you were pet, if you'd pet the guinea pigs, you, you would like, and go into the snake room, it was like, you wouldn't open that cage, you know, it was very clear. So, uh, but I was really sad that I had to lose my snake because the girlfriend loved the guinea pigs a little bit more than I loved my snake. But it really hurt me that I had to get rid of them because otherwise it, you know, nature would have taken its course. And so when I came to Ecuador the first time, like a decade ago, I found out they ate guinea pigs. And there was like this like, oh my God. You know, this I felt like internally compelled to uh, to like vicariously support my old snake, Olive, it was her name. and and feast on guinea pigs. And it was like, this is for you, Olive, you know? Um, so I had to eat a guinea pig anytime it was on the menu. And I'll, I'll pass it to Juan Carlos. Uh, I already went. Um, uh, okay, I'll pass it to the camera. Um, so, wow, those are some serious uh, stories, Jake and Griff. Um, for me, I did have something that I'll say is unusual, and I've only had it once, and it was when I visited Iceland, and um, they have a 
national dish, which is a shark, but they um, catch the shark and then they bury the shark and then the shark rots and ferments. And like, I don't know, 12 months later, they dig it up and they cut it up and they eat it. So we were served that, it's, I had to look it up, it's called Hakarl. And uh, yeah, I didn't go back for seconds. And my favorite emoji is like Eduardo, it's that one. Or, you know, only always this laughing faces with the tears. That's probably the one I use more than any other. I mean, I also ate that shark in Iceland, by the way. You know, you have the soup. They also make soup with it. So we are sisters of emojis and food. Uh, Jen, can I pass it back to you to keep passing? I'll pass to Nate. Um. Yeah, so I guess my emoji would be the upside down smiley face. I don't know why I like that one so much. I just use it all the time. Um, the weirdest food is probably back in my home state of Alabama. I used to have this uh, neighbor. He used to uh, cook up these like fried uh, crickets and he would save them and pass them out to the neighborhood and as like a weird snack. And so we'd eat those fried crickets and they're all right. Just crispy little crunchy thing. So it's good though. And uh, I will pass to Santi. Oh, Santi went already. I'll pass to Meta very day. Um getting hard right the emoji i use the most lately is like the metallic dancing dinosaur because i've got like upticked on discord for free so now i'm ruined ruined for regular emojis um and off of discord the one i use the most is a dragon because i'm dragon family and the weirdest food i eat i would still eat it if i had horses um we feed horses like some place a sweet feed, which is a combination of different grains that are rolled out and then pellets in there. And it's all held together with molasses. So you can add vitamins and it stays like in the mix. And I really like the rolled corn out of sweet feed because it's corn and it has molasses on it. And it's really, really amazing. And it also has extra vitamins. So like in the United States, they kind of joke about um, country folk as being corn fed, you know, and I grew up in the city, but I was corn fed. I always like you know, I kind of went along with it for a while. Then like one day I went, wait a minute, I'm corn fed. I ate corn the whole time I was growing up. Horse food, weirdest thing I eat. And uh, um, I ha actually had somebody that I thought hadn't gone. Has Dan gone? I'll pass it to Dan. Hey, <laughs> this is a fun question. Uh, <laughs> emojis, um, I guess I, I'm using a lot of the you know, the, like the Easter egg of the cat on the dinosaur, a lot. Anyway, uh, food, um, there's a couple. Um, <laughs> like uh, in Argentina, I ate a, a llama steak. So basically a llama, it, it felt really bad. You know, they're so cute. At least it wasn't an alpaca. But <laughs> then, I, then I went to the farm and I saw them and I was like, oh my God, family. But um, otherwise, um, my favorite kind of empanada is an empanada de cazón, and it's basically a shark empanada. So it's, it's very common in Venezuela. So it's, yeah, we eat sharks. Uh, it's, those are the school sharks. So they're very tiny sharks. And I'm with the hunters. I hunted down a hare once I was in Russia and I, yeah, had to eat that. Um, that was, and I guess like. Ah, oh, a friend from China gave me granola with crickets once. That was interesting. And like spider legs, tarantulas. Anyway, yeah, I tried to <laughs> try <laughs> what I find. Anyway, I'll pass it to uh, Durgadas. You just came up. Durgadas, can you hear? Can anyone hear Durgadas? Can you hear me now? Me. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, sorry, my push to talk wasn't working. So, uh, what are we talking about? I came in. Yeah, late. our most used emoji and weird food you ate. And then, yeah. 
I don't really use emojis because I'm old. <clears throat> um, and and the the weirdest food I ever ate. Um, I would say, it, uh, I think ceviche is just fundamentally weird. <clears throat> so <laughs> it just doesn't cook like other things. It has all kind of weird things in it. It's just inherently suspect to me. So it's like, how is it cooked again? In lemon juice? That doesn't make sense. Anyway, I think ceviche is very weird. Thank you. Okay, and the last uh, one is Coyote? Coyote? Coyote. Welcome yep. to the comms meeting. Yeah, I would say uh, thumbs up, just practicality, mostly memes, and I'll plead the fifth on weirdest thing eaten and just go with fried insects, particularly like scorpions. The uh, the frying of the neurotoxin disable or deactivates it to a degree, but gives you a fugu like experience. Ooh, interesting. And Sam jumped hey, in. Hey. hey Sam, do you want to be our last our last uh, person to go here? Hello, uh, emojis. There are many that are in the tab that nobody's using, <laughs> and I don't know. For example the the clocks with the um, with the the sand and the weirdest food probably snails it's a, a typical catalan food i i don't know if it's weird, weird okay. enough yeah that's a good one um, and then I guess I'll quickly go last and then we can jump in. Um, yeah, traveling around the world, eat lots of crazy stuff. I had eel in Greece and I grew up in Florida and we have alligators there. And there's one bar that you go where you can eat alligator. It was kind of like fried chicken. And then when I was in Indonesia, I had snake and Vietnam as well. But now I don't eat meat. But back then, uh, yeah, in Vietnam, they... It's pretty crazy. You like drink the snake blood and all this. It was pretty wild. It's, you know, when you're 20 and you're riding around with motorcycles, that's the kind of thing that you do. So it was a very interesting experience. An emoji. I always use this one. I always think of it like this. I like that one a lot. Yeah, I'm like Sam. I kind of like to forage into the unexplored emojis. Um, okay. Hi, Kewen. How's it going? <laughs> I, I don't really want to talk now, please. Okay, that's fine. Sure. So we can jump into the meeting. Um, I'm just going to quickly share screen um, to show a few things that are going on practically. And then I thought we could spend a few minutes uh, looking at the manifesto together today. But I don't feel like we need the whole time because... Really, we're just heads down, um, mostly, in the comms working group. And yeah, Marco is coming in. Oops, doo -doo -doo. Marco is coming in um, to kind of take over the project management responsibilities and helping us to like get the team going here. I know there's people, uh, a lot of people here, Meta Verde is stepping up and Eduardo's gonna step in and support and, um, and also Eddie and Nate has written an article for us. So just to quickly, I made Say, a couple of logos. I did. Awesome. I didn't know that. That's great. Um, so, yeah, just aligning, and we can, uh, sh if you want to share that with us in a minute, um, Durga Dash. So, the main things right now um, are the praise and news blog. I just wanted to share in case you haven't seen um, where uh, Jake made this really cool uh, little. Uh, image here really cute and he wrote a super awesome awesome article if you haven't had a chance to read it yet you can read it the news will be coming the news blog will come out um probably tomorrow uh jake wrote a fantastic article about um 
yeah, just like a different perspective of kind of why we're here and what we're doing in the framing of digital civil engineering, which is a really cool framework and way to tell the story. So that's a great article. So the news is chock full this week and that'll be out tomorrow. Um, doo -doo -doo. And then, yeah, Nate's article. Uh, Nate wrote a really cool article on being new to the TEC. So I'm going to have a look at it this week. But if there's anybody else that wants to volunteer to edit, maybe Jake, if you want to help me to, to give some feedback to Nate, that would be awesome. And then we're finalizing the content on the homepage, which I've been kind of hung up on the one liner or the tagline. I have like 30 different taglines that I've been looking at. Um, after our session last week that's like all the other content is flowing great but that one is is still kind of the one little sticky point um, but i think we're just gonna pick something and just go with it um, but if anybody has any interest in uh, you know it feels really strongly about the tagline just poke me and you can come and jump in this document with me i've got most of the other content is done i'm just kind of last throws with the tagline and um let's see yeah sam and i had a great meeting uh and marco about the video so we're going to be producing a video for the hatch app so this week i will be starting to um, set up interviews and i may ask for help with that basically it's going to be a crowdsourced decentralized video um interviewing people why they're here and what they think you know what they like or what they think is so important about the TC and what we're doing here and then kind of doing a mashup and editing them together with um, maybe some cool graphics or uh, we'll be fleshing out the creative part later. And then, uh, yeah, we have our regular promotions going on of TEC Labs, of Graviton and supporting the internal communications and some of the research groups going on. And the last main thing is yeah i guess if anybody also you know we're always looking for cool stuff to share on twitter i actually saw dan you shared a really cool this video it was kind of like artsy anime video it's cool i think to like tweet some different stuff and have some different content so if you see any really cool thought leadership articles or things we should be tweeting um you can just post them in the tc comms channel or send them to Ivy and she can retweet since she's now supporting with the Twitter. She's like handling the same three things we do every week and uh, we can start building Twitter to look for like different content from projects around the ecosystem maybe. Um, and yeah, looking at the board. So this is my last week doing sprint planning and then Marco's going to be joining in to do that. Um, so yeah. Does anyone have any questions? I know uh, this morning I saw Jake, you had kind of thrown a few things for Eduardo. Um, Meta Verde, I, I started to build out the TEC Discord. I went in yesterday and started to build out the channels a little bit more with like, I looked at um, one hive setup, I looked at a few other um, I looked at Metagame and I've been looking at a few other discords. Uh, so yeah, Meta and I have a work session on Thursday evening. ESC, if anyone wants to join, we're just going to bounce a few ideas around. Um, so Wednesday. Anybody... Huh? Wednesday. Wednesday, sorry. Yeah, scared me. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's on the calendar. I should look. Right. So yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. So the main, main things going on are analyzing the website, the video will be putting up um, new social media logos. Uh, Eduardo, thanks for stepping in to do that. Yeah, and we're just churning. We're pretty much head down right now. So to be honest, there's not so much to talk about. Does anybody have any questions about the work that's going on or tasks that they've taken on? I just wanted to say that right comment was, I'm glad I have it on my calendar or I would forget absolutely everything. It wasn't like, right? I don't, I don't know how it came across. And um, let me know as soon as you're ready to have somebody help with bots. I've got bot people. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's Chris. That'd be Chris Jones. He's handling all the bots. Uh, I just put together a document that has like examples from one hive, which you're well versed in and kind of looking at some of those ideas. So yeah, if you want to start um, anything on that. Uh, 
I haven't heard from Chris for days and days, and I've tagged oh, okay. him a couple of times. But so I imagine he's busy. Yeah, he's doing a bunch of stuff. So um, let's, yeah, I will ask Chris if he if he can maybe jump in our call on Wednesday if he's got time, and then or you guys can schedule separately. But I'll just poke him. But yeah, he's he's doing a lot for the common stack and the TC. So he's he's been pretty crazy. Um, Eduardo, you're kind of coming in to take on a few tasks. You feel good? Do you need anything or? Oh, I can't hear you for some reason. I think you're on mute, Eduardo. I don't know if you wanted to say something. Sorry, what do you say? Oh, I was saying, um, I saw that you had come in uh, and taken a few issues on GitHub. Do you feel good, or do you need any support with any of those tasks? Um, no, we, uh, we'll probably have a meeting with Jake, or, with, or just have small five minutes with you to work them through, uh, and that will be all. Um, I think I'm pretty much fine. So since I was warned in advance about the issue, so it's fine. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward stuff just like changing social media logos and whatnot um yeah, so yeah. Jess, if i could just just if Go i could just it. uh interject here uh eduardo and jake we're probably gonna have a call on friday just a quick sync on those issues and sort it out just yes. to mention that too. Yeah. yes Perfect. and like i'm like, looking forward yeah to it. Awesome. And, and like in general uh, here, like, you know, everybody on the call, like uh, just shared the design hub board. Feel free to grab over there. We have uh, in general, general, we kind of need like my impressions. We need more content producers, like, you know, helping us with articles. Maybe Jess, if you agree, uh, you know, we also have the onboarding video. We want to come up with a storyboard. Uh, we might need some help there. Uh, again, recruiting interviews to, to help just to recruit people and help with the with the video, and then the smaller issues like social media profiles and all that kind of stuff. So you know, you know, feel free to browse over there, uh, take a look, see if you can help out with something, and then just reach out to me. I had um, I had noticed there were some a couple of requests around. Uh, uh, a logo thing so i think i popped out a couple of uh things but <clears throat> i didn't really know that they were used for or have a full context on and i just was feeling creative in the moment and did it so uh i don't know uh what you guys um are using them for yeah we're pretty deep in that process we have a design channel um if you want to be included in that but marco's been uh leading the design so Yes, Marco, do you feel you're good as far as our assets go, or um, I'm did not you sure think where, where I got the impression that a logo was needed, but I think it was something meta verde. Yeah, no, no, I was, ex I, that was a random idea, actually, Durgados, oh. I'm sorry if there was a misunderstanding, but um, I would, I'm, I'm really super excited about them, and I'm going to run it by OneHive finding a way. I was looking for a combination of a token engineering and OneHive logo is what happened, and oh, it was, it was like it was like I'm I'm sorry if I gave the impression that um that that was like official. Well, I didn't know. So I'm very well. I'm very, ex I'm very excited good. about it, and I will <laughs> definitely. <laughs> I've tweeted them. <laughs> oh, okay, I've got Illustrator files for them. So oh, they're beautiful. They're absolutely yeah, beautiful. If if you want to share them, I, I mean, we have so many things that we could use logos for and get creative, like events, and we have these like labs spinning up. So you know it. It would be, it's always cool to have those. So I wouldn't say that, you know, it wasn't needed. I think we could find places for them. So mm -hmm. if you wanted to share those in the comms channel, um, Durgados, that we can add them to the assets list. And then, um, you know, Marco has kind of created this like consistent look. But I think for, we have many opportunities, like for Graviton training, it could have its own look. Or if you had something that you really liked, we can use, we can find a place for it, you know? Mm -hmm. It's always good to have some options. So. That's perfect. If you yeah, yeah. Just go well, ahead. I just, and share that with us. I just keep trying to find a way to 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 um, 
you know, gainfully uh, contribute to communication since I am a professional at that. So I do try to figure, I just keep volunteering for that, but I, uh, <laughs> I don't know <clears throat> yeah, what else I can do. Things are good. I originally had thought maybe we'd work a bit on the manifesto, but I don't know if that's the best use of time. And I think we can do it async. So Durgadas, since you do have that uh, professional background, would you be interested to um, look at our communications manifesto document and integrate some of the feedback and, and lead that effort? It's, it's just sure. a document that we have that aligns this working group and what we're focused on and it needs a refresh. Griff had put a bunch of comments in. I was going to go and integrate some and then, um, but if you, if you're up for taking that on, since you have this like big yeah, picture is, of you. Is that comps, linked somewhere uh, in the comms channel? Yeah, I, uh, I'll send you the direct link just so you don't have to go digging for uh, it. But. Thank you. Yeah, I was just looking through there. I did upload those two logos, uh, JPEGs um, in the comms channel now just as a... Thing. Cool. I'll have a look. So yeah, I'll create a GitHub issue for you for the manifesto integrating feedback. And then we can, if you just poke people for like a few comments or feedback, and then we, if you can just uh, look at the document and that would be great. That's something that I could use help on. Yeah. I apologize that I'm so sporadic about it. I just have like, this is like my fifth job, you know, so. <laughs> 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 so it's all good that's why i'm always shocked you're always volunteering and i'm like how do you have more time um so yeah that's perfect and sem did you have anything from gardens or tech that is important for comms to know or did you have anything to share mm, no i i actually wanted to ask about the the video because um for, for, for you to know we had a, a meeting marco and jess with me and we talked about the, the video. And one of the things that we had to do was um, starting up a, a document. Um, I, the, the idea would be to begin with the interviews, as, as you said, and maybe later we add some post-production effects and some story on top of that, maybe. Uh, we still have to see if we will have the the enough content in order to have something like that. But uh, I wanted to ask you just um, that storyboard uh, document. Uh, it will you will need help in order to have because your your idea is to have some organic uh, interview um, uh, an interview that is in some way structured and leave some parts that are unstructured so we can have organic interactions that which is, is super cool because i think that we will have enough footage for the for the video that structured um, interview is what we should have in the storyboard document or the document should be something else because yeah <laughs> I I was for the document for right now. Um, I have some notes from our meeting, but I'm going to primarily focus on like the interview questions and kind of organizing and doing like the prep for the interviews. And then I'll pass it to you if you wanted to add some of like if I if I miss something or I was going to add some of our ideas for like the creative part. But for right now, I was just going to focus on the interviews, but I'll share the document with you so that if you want to add on top of it. Okay. I just wanted to, to offer some help. Um, but I, I think that you you have you already have it covered. So um, I think that it's a, a very good idea to to begin with the with the interviews. Yeah, I could definitely use your help. Um, I'll pass that to you the end of the day today i was just taking a few more notes and then yeah I, i'm happy for your help if you have any ideas or if i missed something or if you have an idea for like, how to set up the interviews and then yeah I'm, maybe we're gonna i was just wondering if you know it will be more to coordinate multiple people doing interviews like if it's more work than just quickly so i'm just gonna sit with that for a couple of days and then yeah if if you can help me with uh the setup that would be awesome 
Okay, uh, and this is going to be different than the interviews is going to be different than the storyboard. I and I understand because the the storyboard will require the the footage already recorded, right? Uh, yeah, I think yeah we. Yeah, I think for now we can just write the ideas, but I'm not sure, like I said, how it would come out. We had some crazy ideas about, like, we could, you know, have just the interviews and the sharing from the community, or we can try to do some kind of, like, framing with, like, Matrix or, I don't know, something with news clips and how the state of the world is or something. So I'm not sure how it will shake out. But, yeah, you feel free if you want to start something from the creative side. Um or just add to the document. I thought, yeah, I'm gonna have one section of just uh, the interviews and then another section about the kind of creative on top. And then we can- sure. mm -hmm. uh, I, I think that if we add this, this crazy thing on top of that, it, it will be on top. So um, let's, let's first begin with, with the <laughs> normal interviews. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, and probably it's well I don't know um, ja, maybe it's just later if we have fun doing crazy stuff then we do that and if we don't have fun we just skip it and uh, do the video with just the footage of the, of the people which will be super cool that sounds good does anybody else have any other questions, thoughts, or things they want to bring up? I was going to ask about um, the Discord migration. Um, I know that you talked about it before, but is there um, are, is there a decision around whether they're going to repurpose this Discord server for uh, alternate use? They're going to keep this Discord server just for token engineering. Um, and then we'll have the new Discord server for the TEC specifically. And if you're interested to help work on it, you can contact Nana Verde. She's kind of leading that the efforts to organize that. Um, but yeah, they will keep this one for TE. And we'll have like a bridge channel. So from the TEC channel, we'll have a bridge to the token engineering. And from token engineering, there'll be a bridge to um, TEC. Okay, that sounds good. I just wanted to clarify that. Yeah, hit my DMs on Discord is the absolute best place to contact me. Okay, yeah, if you need help with anything, just let me know. Okay, but yeah, I didn't have anything else planned for the meeting. I think for me, I'm just more in work mode and actually stepping back from a few meetings so I can just, um, yeah deliver on these things but jake did you have anything else you wanted to add or marco or anybody while we're here uh it was, well craig's here hey craig how's the kernel program with gitcoin not sure craig can you hear us sometimes has internet issues. Okay, well, um, no, I, th that's pretty good. Uh, me, Marco, and Eduardo are gonna sync on Friday from there, and uh, we'll be ready to hook back up uh, this time next week. Everybody else, uh, fuck yeah, rock and roll. <laughs> we're getting, we're getting it's gonna be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, and yeah, anybody, um, if you need anything, you just ask, okay? If I can't help you, I will find someone who can. All right. Let's get back Jake's to work. He didn't, want to say, he, he, he didn't want to say he'll pass it to Marco. He just said, like, I will find somebody. <laughs> yeah, you don't ever tell anybody that. You just say, oh, I'll help. I'll help. You don't tell <laughs> Okay. Oh, yeah, awesome everybody. Guys. Yeah, take an extra 20 minutes today. And thank you so much for sharing your weird foods. And I look forward to seeing some more of your emojis representing your uh, personality traits. 
and digging for ones, the unexplored emojis. Okay. Well, that's a wrap, folks. I'm going back to work now. Thank you so much, Jessica.